Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and I have something for the sort of golden ear type people because they have a new channel coming out. And this time, unlike the way things have usually gone, you probably might even be able to hear the difference between this one and the last one. As you may know, channel has been the test bed that I've used for a very long time for distinguishing little tiny changes in kind of the guts of my plugins. Like if I have um, a new way to noise shape to the floating point bus, I'll implement that in channel and keep everything else the same. And the idea is if you can consistently and reliably hear the distinction between these tiny, tiny changes in versions of channel, you probably have a better ear than me. But I think it adds up. I think you get a different feel for things if you're sort of continually soaking in the sound from um, a plugin like this or plugin changes like this. If you do little tiny changes that have a sort of effect on the general vibe and atmosphere of the thing, you kind of get used to it and you start to feel the difference. And that's the idea behind these versions of channel that I do. So we've got a regular audio, and then we've got three different channels up here. Channel 4, which is the first that I came out with in the VST sessions. Channel 5 added an output, and I believe this is when I had some changes in the little details of, like, I think that Channel 5 um, was when I first introduced the denormalization, perhaps. And I think I had a difference in how I was noise shaping to the floating point bus. Anywho, you got four, you got five. Channel six is the same as channel five, but it has the most current uh, noise shaping to the floating point bus, the most current denormalization, and it has the spiral algorithm rather than just the sine wave one. So you will now hear what that means to otherwise identical plugins. Here's our old empty pictures again. We've got the uh, console type, which basically just means a high pass filter and a slew clipper. And it's a very insensitive slew clipper. It's not going to change DC or anything. Not nearly as powerful as that. And Channel 4 sounded like this. You can sort of hear the added fullness and the slight sculpting of the sound. And all five sounded like this. Compared to channel four. Channel 6. Go back to channel 5. It's a little fuller. It's a little thicker. 6. I'll play with the console type a little bit. API limitations. SSL Now, if you don't use the output, it doesn't engage. And also, you heard me say limitations. That's because this is not properly modeling, per se. What's happening is I was able to take measurements of some impulse responses that I had and work out roughly how fast each of these console types could slew based on recordings of impulses of the actual, you know, hardware of that manufacturer. And also how fast the low frequency sort of gave up. 
And what that said was that the Neve had the least high frequency extension, but the biggest bass. And the SSL had the most high frequency extension, but the least bass. And then the API was somewhere in the middle. So when I say the console restrictions, I mean that it's a measured kind of restriction that's not actually any of these consoles. It's just that it's slew clipping it like the SSL might or like the Neve might. And this does have an effect, but um, it's mostly just a sort of way to mentally approach the things. And from way back, I've had these things as a freebie because I wasn't willing to go around trying to sell stuff and trading on these names. But it, this has been part of the channel thing since it began. And uh, it's a funny story, actually. You have to be careful when hearing these wonderful golden ear things because the very, very first channel that I ever did had the console type switch and a bug that made it fall through so that everything was always SSL. And yeah, people thought that they heard big differences in the sounds, and so did I. I didn't know I had a bug. I was like, oh, hmm, this seems about right. And then when I fixed it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's what it was supposed to be. I've never made a big fuss about that, and I certainly would never call out the people who uh, felt that they understood uh, the changes that were happening. But I, I rather rapidly and openly fixed that bug and, and put things there. So now you have three different versions of channel out of the uh, Air Windows VSD and open source project. And the most recent one is actually using a different algorithm. And you can hear how different it is because it sounds obviously and gratuitously different. The rest of it still works pretty much the same though. Like one of the things that Drive has always had going on is this is nothing more than a crossfader. This is dry, this is wet, this is half dry, half wet. Meaning that if you put huge peaks through on the drive control, rather than it just being like not as much gain, middle settings will let the peaks through rather than having them clipped. And another thing about um, channel, which I think I can probably demonstrate, or at least I can demonstrate it if I'm a good little puppy and remove, uh, throw a little bit shift gain in here. Did that just make a bit shift gain or was I imagining it? I was imagining, oh, no, yeah, it did, it did. And then remove that and option drag this little guy over there so that I have two of them. And I can remove this while I'm at it. So what I'm going to demonstrate now, if I can get these bit shift games right. Yeah, you're the one in the end. You're the one in the middle, and you're the driver. I can demonstrate what I did by using these. Give it the output and cut it back. Now, if drive is at zero, and it's actually still responding to something, but Channel 6. Oh, I better know what's happening. Well, put it this way. If it was really, truly dry, you could listen to stuff blasting through here. Once you engage it, you're getting a bunch of distortion happening. But one of the differences between, say, Channel 6 and the Spiral that it is based on. Look at all these plugins, so many plugins. Uh, put the plugins all over the place. Is that with this one, I'm damping it by eight and I'm cranking it up. Is spiral all by itself kind of squishes out. It goes past the saturation points to sort of zero again. So it does this crazy high frequency generating thing. Whereas we've got uh, channel six cranked up all the way, so it's fully engaged. 
And channel six, unlike Spiral, is uh, clipping the maximum amount so that it won't continue going over into that oversaturated space. And that diminishes the effect of Spiral a little bit, but it gives you an alternate kind of option. Like if you slam Spiral, if you slam channel six with a lot of extra gain going into it, What you can get is a distortion that's different from what you would get out of uh, Spiral all by itself. So yeah, this is an alternate form of Spiral. It's still giving you clarity. And it's giving you a sort of alternate form of smash, although I think this is just a hard clip in here somewhere. But when you actually engage Spiral properly and use the drive, as you'll notice it is getting more gain out of the drive at zero. I think that clipping point is well over zero dB, so you'd have to boost into it to experience that. But uh, the way that it works, here, we'll damp that again. Is that this is essentially acting like a dry, but with a, uh, there's a hard clip in here somewhere. Then, this is half and half dry and spiral and fully the spiral stage of game clipping. Okay, you can slam it. And it'll handle the slamming differently than chant than spiral itself does. But <laughs> I wasn't taking into account that I had the output on channel six turned down. Anyways. <sighs> it's it's been a tough couple of months, I gotta tell you. Here's the new spiral. It has a slightly different sound from the previous spirals because this time I have a update to that sign-based uh, saturation algorithm. But other than that, it's the same basic plugin and it's the newest testbed. So essentially, if you feel that, say, let's see, let's dig up channel five again. And remove this, and we'll make this just be politely quieter rather than ruthlessly quieter. If you're comparing these things, and you were using channel 5, which sounds like this. And then you decide to use channel 6, which sounds like this. then you're welcome. And I hope you do like Channel 6, which is not to say that you might not like some of the other ones as well. They're there to audition different uh, versions of, but this is a big striking change in, in many ways. I think that it's quite a good change. And uh, yeah, blah, blah, Patreon. That's how I'm still here able to do this stuff. Otherwise, you wouldn't have this. And... I hope you like the new channel. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you.